Hey everyone, this is Tony, Tainted Lord A7, and here is a collection update. Just a bunch of recent CDs that I picked up, and hopefully, hopefully everyone enjoys it. I will continue doing my CD collection videos um, in another time, but for now, hopefully everyone enjoys this CD update, collection update, if you will. Okay, the first CD I going to show off is Pearl Jam's latest album Dark Metal. Now I'm not the biggest Pearl Jam fan but I thought this album was a good follow up to the last album Gigaton which was a good rock album alternative rock album um and this one I want to say it's like super amazing super impressive but it's a good solid, a good solid follow up to, um, Gigaton. Yeah, Dark Matter is just a solid rock album, and yeah, it's really enjoyable, and I really like this one. So, yeah, Pearl Jam's Dark Matter. Haven't listened to this album nearly enough, but it's definitely a grower. But yeah, Pearl Jam's Dark Matter. A solid alternative rock album from a long running band such as Pearl Jam. So, yeah, Pearl Jam's Dark Metal. It's a good album. Okay, next up is a compilation that I found at a thrift store, and that's Wayne Deal Walk 2000, the Finnish compilation. Yeah, yeah. This compilation that I found at at a, at a thrift store is just a bunch of is obviously a compilation of a bunch of Finnish bands that most of them I never heard of, but they usually range from the um, gothic rock, gothic metal, um, hard rock, alternative rock. So yeah, this is not exactly a metal album but it's an interesting compilation um some bands that I, some bands on here that i recognize are the 69 eyes to die for nightwish but yeah most of these bands i never heard of but it's an interesting compilation and and kind of a good blind buy to be brutally honest i'm actually kind of glad to pick this one up so yeah, I'm not sure how I'm not sure how anyone's gonna find this one because this is really well, but in terms of compilation, this is this is an interesting release and I'm glad I took a chance on this. So yeah, Wayne Deal Walk 2000, the Finnish compilation. Very very good, interesting compilation album. Okay. Next one is Placebo, Without You I'm Nothing. Just a really good alternative rock, pop rock album from the late 90s. And yeah, it definitely takes me back to my um, pre-teen years when I was just discovering music. And yeah, it definitely has a late, late, late 90s, early 2000s feel to it, but... I really enjoy this one. I think the song that everyone knows off of this album is Every You, Every Me, which is a big hit song off this album. But yeah, this is just a solid alternative rock, pop rock album from Placebo and Without You I'm Nothing is a great album. I really enjoy this one, so I'm really glad to pick this one up. So. Yeah, placebos, without you, I'm nothing. Okay, next one is a classic, and that's Van Halen, 1984. I'm pretty sure everyone who's into heavy metal, hard rock from the 80s knows this band, knows this band, knows this album, and it's a classic. Just a bunch of timeless song, timeless songs on this album, with the biggest hit "Jump" and "Hot for Teacher," and you know it's just a flawless 
hard rock, heavy metal, maybe even glam metal album as well. You know, it's pretty much an ev- album. It's pretty much an album that everyone knows. So, yeah, we ain't glad to pick up Van Halen's 1984. Just a classic from the 80s. And speak about classic, here's another one, and that's Black Sabbath's Volume 4. You know, this is just a slot, just as a solid, this is just a solid heavy metal, doom metal, yeah, doom metal, believe it or not, album. You know, I'm pretty sure anyone, anyone who's into, I'm pretty sure anyone who's into Black Sabbath knows this album, and Volume 4 is just a, Flawless, timeless classic. It may not be. It may not be as famous as you know, Master of Reality or Paranoid, but it's still a solid album that everybody knows. Like I said, it's a solid heavy metal album with some doom metal influences here and there, and it's just a flawless, awesome album. Really glad to pick, Really glad to pick up Black Sabbath Volume Four. Really good stuff. Really enjoy this one. Okay. Okay. Next up is Children of Boredom. Blood Drunk. I find this album to be a little bit overlooked and a bit underrated. You know, I don't think this is Children of Boredom's best album, but in terms of melodic death metal and a, and Solid heavy metal. This is a really good album, really solid album, and yeah, I really enjoy this one. You know, if you're into some really good, well done melodic death metal, heavy metal, or extreme metal, Blood Drunk by Children of Boredom is a um is a bit overlooked and underrated album, but definitely an album worth worth checking out. It's a it's a good one. So yeah, this is this is Children of Boredom's Blood Drunk, and 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 I'm really glad to pick this album up. Really good stuff. So so yeah, this is Children of Boredom's Blood Drunk. Okay, next one is the latest album from Deicide, Banished by Sin. Just another, just another solid slab of death metal from Deicide. A really awesome follow up to Overtures of Blasphemy. With Deicide, you kind of know what to expect, and for the most part, they deliver. Just some awesome, aggressive, heavy, vicious, demonic death metal from Deicide. Banish My Sin is just another solid album in their discography, in my opinion. And yeah, really glad to pick this one up. Like I said, a solid death metal album from DSI. Banish My Sin is a good one. <clears throat> okay, next one up is Cata Decapitation. Death Atlas. Now this album, I, I, I keep forgetting to pick this album up at my local um, record store, and I always get, I always pass this up. But I finally decided to pick this album up, and with Cata Decapitation, with Cata Decapitation, you know what to expect: some heavy death grind, death metal, grindcore, extreme metal, really heavy and aggressive and that's what you get with counter decapitations death atlas just a really good death metal grindcore death grind album through and through no really solid out al- really solid album from beginning to end counter decapitations death atlas is another great album in their discography really good stuff and i'm really really glad to finally pick this album up. So that's Cata Decapitation's Death Atlas. Great album.
And the last album that I'm going to show off and I picked up is a is another classic that everybody knows, and that's Slayo's Wind and Blood. Yeah, this album needs no introduction. Just a classic 80s thrash metal album that's flawless through and through. It's fast, aggressive, brutal. And yeah, this this is just a classic from Slayo. Wayne and Blood by Cla Wayne and Blood. Wayne and Blood by Slayo is a classic flawless 80s thrash metal album. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's it, everyone. That's my little collection update. Sorry if I kept making mistakes in this video. <sighs> to honestly tell you, I just woke up, so I just decided to do a video. So that's my collection update. And hopefully everyone enjoys it. And look forward to another CD collection video um, in the near future. So thanks for watching and take care.